13. Only in theaters November 11th. Get tickets now. have embraced Wakanda and Black Panther and Chatwick. He knew exactly what this story, what these images meant to the world. We all suffered an incredible loss when we lost Chadwick. Chad was very much our artistic partner. I would spend time with him, just he and I, talking about where we wanted his story to go, how much he admired the other characters and the actors that portrayed them. And the telling of this story, we were all able to honor him together. It was really moving to come back to Wakanda and for us to be able to do it with a sense of celebration. There's so much that's happening in this movie. It's amazing. So many new characters to explore. Just seeing the world of Wakanda again, and then now we're going to this whole new world underwater. My enemies call me no more. Introducing Namor, who's a character we were really excited to portray in the film, arguably one of the oldest comic book characters that there is. The opportunity to play a character like this, it's a dream. He's the king of an underwater civilization called Talukan. He is regarded as a living god. I need to know if Wakanda is an ally or an enemy. The level of care creating this story, it is astounding. And so it just really felt like for all of us to give it everything we have and more. I'm just so grateful and blessed to be a part of this. The actors were filled with emotion and passion. I am queen of the most powerful nation and my entire family is gone. Altogether, we ended up using those feelings to create something really special. The action and adventure with the emotional stakes so high. Things are happening up, down, and everywhere. I'm so excited about the world being able to tap into Wakanda again. How each character takes on new challenges. And I'm excited about us honoring Chad. Yeah, he would want us to just inspire the world. <laughs> 